Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about making a Space Invaders game using the Ursnet engine. So I made a 3D Space Invaders game a while ago, and if you have not watched that video, you can check it out. And in that game, the Space Invaders will come out from the top, and will have a weapon at the bottom that will fire bullets to shoot down the invaders. Now this game is a little different. Instead of coming from the top, the Space Invaders will come from any direction. Uh, from the top, bottom, left, and right, and the weapon will be able, to, the weapon will be able to rotate uh, while in the center of the window, um, instead of being at the bottom of the window. And we're also going to rotate the weapon in any direction, fire bullets, and destroy the invaders. So let me show you how the game works very quickly. So this is my code, and if I run this. I have a weapon in the center, I can shoot out bullets which will destroy these space invaders and you notice I have a scoreboard at the top left. So I could keep shooting these and then eventually once one of these um, hits me then it says I lost and it asks me to reload the game. And at the top left you could see my score. So in the previous two videos, I showed how we can make a weapon that can shoot around and set up a target that is bound to be hit. And if you have not watched those, um, I suggest you check them out. Now those two videos were actually part of this game. Once we made a weapon that could shoot around and create space invaders that will always come across the target, in our case, the weapon, most of the work is already done. So in this video, I'm not going to start from the beginning to make the game. Instead, I'm going to talk about how I made the game complete based on the two previous videos, and how the new features such as the explosion effect was added. Now you can find the complete code in the description section below. First, let's talk about collisions between the bullets and the invaders. To have collisions work, we need to add collider, uh, add collider bars to the fireball entity and bullet entity. And we're using the box collider here. So, in this Fireball class, I have a self.collider is equal to box. This is just setting a box collider. And I also have this in the bullet class, self.collider is equal to box. Now, if there is a collision, we will animate a sequence of explosion images in my assets folder to make the explosion effect and also add the explosion sound. Now, we talked about how to animate an image sequence before. And if you like, you can check that out. So, right here, let me see. Now in this for loop, I add this animation code, which just animates the explosion. And you see here that it is in my assets folder called explosion. Now when collision happens, the player also get a point. So we need to add in a scoreboard. Now to add in a scoreboard, I have an initial score value of zero. That's this variable right here. And I also have this text. So initially the text is going to be a blank a blank string. Now to update the scoreboard, um, we do that in the update function. Um, and basically, uh, right here, we increase the score by one and we show the text. So when the bullet hits a space invader, we're going to increase the score and update the text as well. We also uh, need to reset fireballs when a collision happens, including the angle, scale, speed, distance, position, and the uh, speed in the x and y directions. So we do this actually right here. Um, what this does is basically is again uh, we change the angle, speed, scale, and distance of each fireball when um, a collision occurs. Now we also need to check if there is collision between the invaders and the weapon. And if there is, that just means that the player loses and the game is over. Instead of using a collider bar here, we're going to be using uh, distances to see if there is a collision. If the distance is too small, or if they're too close to each other, then that just means that there is a collision. And we also do this in the update function. So if we check the update function, this condition right here basically checks if um, there's a collision between the fireball and the um, player. 
and all it does is that it shows in the text uh, you lost, reload the game. So now if I save and run this again, we can better understand the different aspects of our code and how and why this thing works. So you saw that one um, fireball hit me, now I lost, and it updated my score. So my score is 13. So this is the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down at the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.